for the Lord. Come on, open up your mouth and begin to worship him. Open up your mouth and begin to praise him. Forget about where you are. Forget about everything that happened before you came here. But say, I am setting my mind on Jesus. Do I have anybody? Anybody can say, last night, I don't know about you, but my soul was glad. Something happened down in my sanctified soul. Something happened that changed me. Uh, and nothing's going to stop me from getting to that mountaintop. I wish I had a witness. Nothing's going to stop me from my mountaintop experience. Uh, and so, God, we exalt you. Uh, God, we magnify you. Uh, God, we forget about everything but you. Uh, God, we set our minds uh, on you. Uh, and we are grateful tonight, God. Uh, we are grateful. We are grateful. Uh, we are grateful. Uh, for you have called us up to the mountaintop. Uh, Father, you did not leave us uh, down in the valley. Uh, but, Father, there was a clarion call. Uh, and, Father, we have answered your call. Uh, and we give you a yes, God. Uh, yes, God. Uh, yes, God. Uh, Yes to your will. Yes to your way. Yes, God, I trust you. Yes, God, I'll obey. And what you say to God, that we will do. We're going to open up our mouths. And, Father, we're going to lift up our hands and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. God, you are awesome. God, you are mighty. God, at the of Koshaya, you are great. And Father, many are called. You are chosen. And so we have come. Father, you're chosen people. We have come. Not for form of fashion. No, we have come. Not by power. Not by might. But by your spirit. God, release her. God, release her. God, release her. We need a fresh and dwelling. We need a fresh and dwelling. Father, baptize us again. Baptize us again. Purify us with fire. Fire to the minstrels. Fire to the pews. Fire on the pulpit. Fire on your handmaiden. God, release it. God, release it. God, release it. Now, God, we take authority over everything and anything that will try to block us. Breakthrough. Yes, God. 
There's a breakthrough. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. And so we take authority over the atmosphere. Yes, God. We take authority. And we lose the authority of the blood of Jesus. Father, we're going up, up, up. Father, we're going up, 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 up. Up. Our families. Our finances. Our resources. Our minds. Put your head on your head and say, my mind has been transformed. There's a mount of transfiguration. And God said, when I call you up, you are changed. Change. Just come. Yes. 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 I want to be changed. Somebody say, I want to be changed. I want to be made whole. I want to be purified. I want to be used by you, God. Hey, yes. Come on, where's that sound? Where's that sound in your belly? Come on, open up your mouth and shout. Open up your mouth and shout. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. There's a new sound. There's a new anointing. There's fresh fire. There's a fresh wind. And God said it blows now. God said it happens now. Come on, open up your mouth. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, and it is so, and it is so, and it is so. Put your hands together and welcome the man of God for this hour, Jane and Arnold. Hallelujah. If you know it is so, come on, put your hands together and begin to open up your mouth and bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, open up your mouth. Hallelujah, come on. Hallelujah, come on. Hallelujah, come on. Hallelujah, come on. Jesus, we bless you. Jesus, we lift you. Jesus, we honor you in this place. Come on, open up your mouth and shout in the room. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah, come on, hallelujah, forget who's sitting next to you, hallelujah, forget who's on your own, hallelujah, I'll bless the Lord at all times, and his praises, and his praises, come on, and his praises, and his praises shall continuously be in my mouth, clap your hands, all ye people, and shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, lift up a sound. Come on, lift up a sound. Come on, lift up your sound. Come on, come on, lift up your sound. 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 Hallelujah, Sheba Baba Mandaboya. Hallelujah, Shana Nanana Mandobo, Sheba Bebeya. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, shout from your belly. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You deserve our worship tonight. You deserve our praise tonight. You are wonderful, God. Hallelujah. You're an excellent God. Hallelujah. Thank you for keeping us, oh God. Thank you for your protection, oh God. We come tonight to give you glory. Glory, oh glory. Glory, oh glory. And we say yes, Lord. Yes to your will, yes. Yes to your way. Have your way in this place. Come on, lift up your sound. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Do me a favor. Just look down your road and say, I'm so glad to see you. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, I'm expecting great things. Hallelujah. Check down your road real quick and make sure you got some praises on your road. Because you don't need anybody on your road that's going to hinder you tonight. But I need to hear the sound of someone who came looking for bride. I see I got some people here, but I just need to hear someone who came looking. 
weep for God. I didn't come to form a fashion, but I came to see Jesus. I came to see Jesus. Hallelujah. He's in the room. He's in the room. He's in the room. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I will bless thee, O Lord. I will bless thee, O Lord. With the heart of thanksgiving. I will bless thee, O Lord. Yeah. Oh, 
to lift him. We serve a mighty God. Yeah. Come on, clap your hands like this. Mm -hmm. We lift you up in this place. Can y'all manage that? Say we lift you up in this place. That's it for now. Yeah. We lift you up in this place. You up in this place. Yeah. Sing. We lift you up in this place. You up in this place. We lift you up in this we place. You up in this place. Yeah, yeah. We lift you up in this we place. You up in this we lift you up in this we place. We lift you up in this 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 place. Only you deserve our worship. Only you deserve our praise. Only you deserve the honor. So we lift you high. Yahweh, Yahweh. Come on, we lift you high. Oh, <laughs> 
worship forever. forever. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So we worship. We worship forever. 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 We worship forever. 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 We worship forever. 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 Yeah, yeah. Oh. Come on, sing. Oh, I love it. I love you. Oh, lift it up, say. Yeah, I love you, say, I love you forever. In the midst of my storm, in the midst of my trial, I declare that I love you, say, I love, I love you forever. forever. Love you're my king, forever. you're my God, my savior, forever. redeemer, oh, sustainer. Oh, oh, oh. I love you, say, I love, I love you forever. Yeah. Come on, even online viewers, come on. We lift you up in this we place. Lift you up in this place. Now put your hands on your chest and say, I lift you up in this I place. I lift you up in this place. It's not a room, it's not a church. I lift you up in this I place. I lift you up in this place. It's not a room, it's not a church, but I lift you up in this I place. I lift you up in this place. Be glorified, be glorified, be glorified. I lift you up in this place. Be glorified, be glorified, be glorified. I lift you up in I let you up in this place. I let you up in this place. I let you up in this place. I let you up in this place.
other gods and we lay our crowns and worship him oh be lifted above all other gods and we We praise your name. We lay our crowns and worship him. Oh, oh, glorious God. We praise, we praise your name. We lay our crowns, yeah. Worship him. Say, Oh, glorious God. Oh, glorious God. We praise your name. We lead. We lay our crown and word and worship. One more time. Say, Oh, glorious God. Oh, Just whisper it. Oh, glorious. Oh, glorious God. We bless your name. We praise your name. Forget about who's watching you. We lay. We yeah. It's about me and you. And oh, glorious God. Oh, glorious God. We praise. We lay, we lay our crown. We lay our crowns. We lay our crowns. We lay our crowns. We lay our crowns. Instead of watching, we praise. We praise. We lay on. We lay on. We lay on crown. We lay on crown. Last time we lay our crowns, we lay our crowns and were and worship. Bow down and worship him. Worship him. Ah. Oh, worship him. Anybody got to worship in you tonight? Yeah, bow down and worship him. He
women in your homes just singing. Get in a posture of worship. Worship him. Come on, that's it. Oh, worship him. That's what we come to do. Oh, God, before he asked for anything, we were. We were. Entering. Comes consume me, fire, sweet perfume, your awesome presence. Oh. This is this Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yeah, this is holy. Just close your eyes and just lift your hands and begin to worship him. Come on, get a praise on your lips and begin to humble yourself and begin to reference the name of Jesus. We're nothing without you, yeah. You're a mighty God, you're a holy God. Excellent is your name, excellent is your name, so come and bow, receive our praise, oh Lord, receive our praise, oh King. Sanctify our hearts today. Yeah. Receive our praise. Lift your hands. Receive our praise. Oh God. That's what we want tonight. Yeah. Receive our praise. Oh, King. <laughs> Sanctify our hearts today. Praise, receive our praise. Come on, say, it. receive our praise. Come on, 
declare receive that's all we want tonight I pray receive Worship him. Come on, come on, come on. You asked him to receive your praise. Now offer it up to him. Come on. Offer it up to him. Offer up the praise. Come on. Offer it up, offer it up, offer it up. Yeah, yeah. We give you the glory we worship you our Lord you are worthy to be praised lift it up and say we give we give you oh, oh, oh. we give you the glory we worship you you are, yes, you are, Jesus. We give you all. We give you all the glory. We worship, we worship you. You are, come on. We give you all, we give you all the glory. We worship you, we worship you, are you are, you are worthy to be praised. One more time from your valley we give, we give you we worship, we worship you. You are my soul says yes, says yes, says yes. My soul says yes, says yes. To your will, yes, Lord. My soul says yes, says yes, says yes. My soul says yes, says yes to your will. My soul says yes. My soul says yes, says yes, says yes, says yes. My soul says yes, says yes, to your will. My soul says yes. Come on. My soul 
all over the room. My soul, my soul says yes. yes. Says yes. Have your way in me tonight, my soul, my soul says yes. Yes. Come on. My soul says yes. My soul says yes. My soul says yes. My soul says yes. Says yes. Says yes. Yes. To your will. One more time. My soul says yes. My soul.
to know who put your pride aside tonight and who truly worship me tonight Lord we who be the one to worship me tonight who be the one to worship tonight Lord we thank you put your hands all over the room so oh We praise your name. We lay our crown and worship him. Oh, glorious, oh, glorious God. We praise. We praise your name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We lay our crown. And worship him. Say, oh, glorious God. We praise. We lay our crowns. And worship him. God, we praise. We may not see why, but now, but just because of who you are, we praise. We praise. You're holy. You're righteous. We praise. You're holy. You're righteous. We praise. You're mighty. Counselor, we praise. Yeah, we praise. Just because you're God, we praise. Just because you're God, we praise. We
Such a righteous God we name. There's nobody like you, so we lay. My healer, I lie my crown. My warrior, I lay my crown. My life path, I lay my crown. My strength, I lay my crown. You are everything, so I lay my crown. You are everything, so I lay my crown. You are everything, so I lay my crown. Yeah. We lay, we lay, we lay our crown. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Somebody just lift your hands up in the presence of the Lord. We glorify your name, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Prince of Peace, because that is what I long to do. So I worship you, oh mighty God, there is none like you, I worship you. Oh, mighty God, cause there is none like you. I worship you, oh, Prince of Peace. Because that is what I long to do. I give you praise. Because, Lord, you are my, my righteousness. I worship you, 
you may take your seats if you can. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. What a wonder you are. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. What a wonder you Just got to say one line of this. Worthy is the Lamb. You deserve the praise. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Somebody said, oh, we're not on the clock, we're in revival. Somebody said, well, when are they gonna stop singing when you start worshiping? Mm -hmm. Somebody said, you know you were singing the wrong words. I said, no, probably. But I choose to think about what he was for me. Because sometimes when you just say the name Jesus, there's a dissociation of what he's done for us. And that's why I say, worthy is the lamb that was slain. Jesus. You deserve the praise. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. I got folks for you. Jesus, you deserve the praise. Worthy is the Lamb. Come on, sing it with me. Delivered me Jesus. from all of my shame. You deserve the praise. You delivered me. Worthy is your name. From all of my pain. Worthy is your name. That's why I find you worthy. Jesus. You deserve the praise. You deserve the praise. Oh, 
honor to God and to my pastor, Pastor Shamari White and co-pastor Jackie White, to Mother Betty tonight. That was one of my church mothers right there when I was pastoring. Always been a mighty intercessor and a praying woman. I appreciate you. I want to continue where we are, the revival, the call to the mountain. Thank you, sir. The call to the mountain. The call to recognize Pastor Franklin tonight. The call to the mountain. Psalms 19 and 8 through 11. Somebody say we are in revival. The precepts of the Lord are right. Rejoicing, I'm on nine. The heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure and bright enlightening the eyes. The word precepts. A general rule intended to regulate behavior or thought. A general rule intended to regulate behavior or thought. Precepts. So it would read like this. The general intended rule to regulate behavior or thoughts of the Lord is right. Rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure and bright and enlightening the eyes. The reverent fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, even than much fine gold. They are sweeter also than the honey and the drippings from the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is your servant Warned, reminded, illuminated, and instructed. And in keeping them, there is a great reward. So my attempt tonight in our continuation, Pastor Franklin, is to help the body lay out. I honor the people that are on YouTube, the people that are on Instagram and Facebook is to lay out the fact that there is a parallel, a parallel highway from the tabernacle to what I am preaching about the five names of the soul. I believe that a lot of our 
trouble is because there is parts of the gospel that we are missing. I believe that we have gotten to the end of what we know, which means the rest of who we will become, it must be revealed to us, which means it is going to take a praying person. It is going to take a fasting person in order to get the revelation from God. What are you talking about? Let's look at it. The brazen altar is what we covered on last night. We covered the three names of the soul that is apt to be changed and switched when there is a different opinion. When there is a different opinion, when there is something that, 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 that takes place where it is information only and not experience. Because when you have an experience with something, your mind is not easily changed. Oh, I'm gonna say that one more time. When you have an experience with something, your mind is not easily changed. I had to, I had to go in the wilderness so that I can have an experience with God. And so nobody can change my mind about what I believe. The nefesh, the nefesh is one of the names of the soul, the living attraction, the sentiment, the capacity, and the character, and the sensational feelings. The ruach, which I'd like to bring attention to, because there can be a dichotomy in the word ruach, and I want you to hear this, because the most simple Definition, definition between the two is this. There is a R-U-A-C-H with a little R. And the little R is representative of the animation of a soul, whether it's in a dog or a cat, an angel or a demon. It is the animation of the soul. It is what I feel. It is what I move in. It's that. But that's not, that's not the one we're talking about. We're talking about pursuing the big R, which is the Ruach of God, which is the Spirit of God. And so you can be animated without God, and that's what we're seeing a lot in the body of Christ. We can dance without God. We can feel without God. We can have sensations without God. We can speak in tongues without God. We can have a ruach of animation, but not according to power, because when we get through speaking in tongues and dancing and running around, we are not saved. Somebody better say something up in here. I said, we are not saved. Somebody say, I want to be saved. Say it again, I want to be saved. And we go to the neshama, the neshama which we have covered. And the neshama is my intelligence. But listen to this. When a person sins, when a person sins, he kills a part of himself. I'm not hearing y'all talk to me. When a person sins, he become an annihilator of his own life. When a person sins, it causes him to lose his neshama, which means, for the lack of a better word, it causes you to lose your mind. And that's why when you see people doing stuff that is crazy, you automatically know that somewhere in their life, they're walking in sin because they cannot comprehend what they are doing. And if the person continues to sin, he eventually loses his ruach as well, such that he is left with only a nefesh like an animal. And that's why we don't understand why people do the things that they do. 
because without the spirit of God, watch this, without the spirit of God being engrafted in these three areas, we are no better than the performance of a dog. We have animalistic tendencies now. Oh my God, my God. The Proverbs 14 and 12 and 15 tells us that there is a way which seems right to a man and appears straight before him. But at the end of it, it is the way of death. Watch this. The Bible said, even in laughter, the heart is sorrowful. And the end of mirth is heaviness and grief. The backslider in heart from God and from hearing God shall be filled with the fruit of his own ways. And a good man shall be satisfied with the fruit of his ways. With the holy thoughts and actions which his heart prompts and in which he delights. But the simpleton believes every word he hears. The simpleton believe everything he hears. They say jump off of a bridge and God will bless you. You'll do it because you believe everything you hear. But the prudent man, who is a prudent man? The prudent man is one who cares and looks after his future. And that's why you find people doing stupid stuff in there now. Because they have lost the spirit of prudence. And when you get concerned about what you're going to do in your future, you will watch what you would do in your now. Somebody said, God is talking to me. Somebody said, God is talking to me. Say it again, God is talking to me. Oh, Jesus. One of the rabbis says this in the scripture too. That the, that the real life of a person as a state of equilibrium among all components of one's body. In other words, life can only exist when all of these components is in alignment with God. Other than that, you are living an abstract life. That's why there is no such thing as a person saying what he would never do when all of these things are not in alignment with God. You don't know what you would do because your spirit is open to become like an animal. Because you have nothing guarding the gates of your soul. Y'all ain't saying nothing. You let anything and everything come in and out of your soul. Who is God talking to? You believe everything. You accept everything. And what you don't understand is that some of the things that we accept in our spirit, it goes in one way, but once it has landed, it turns into something else. And you're wondering why. Why am I going through what I am going through? But I hear a, I hear a text that's blessing me right now. Psalms 85 and 6 said, Will thou not quicken us again? that thy people may rejoice. Psalms 119 and 25 said, my soul cleaveth unto the dust. That means I'm about to die, God. Quicken thou me according to thy word. Psalms 143 and 11 says, quicken me, O Lord, for thy name's sake, for thy righteousness sake. Bring my soul out of trouble. Y'all ain't saying nothing. This is the journey out. Are you hearing me? He watch this, watch this. The only way that we can be quickened now, we have to come into the process of number four, which is the kaya, which means in order for me to come out, I need a word to come out. Dancing won't get me out. Shouting won't get me out. Running won't get me out. The only thing that gives life is a word from God. Somebody say, I need a word from God. No, you ain't saying it like you mean it. Turn around to three people and tell them, I don't know about you, but I need a word from God. 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 Tell somebody else I need a word from God. I gotta have a word from God because my dream is about to die. My vision is about to die. My purpose is about to die. I need a word from God because that is the only way that I'm going to live. I need the kaya of God. Oh Jesus, oh Jesus, and so then we, so then we are, we are, 
Watch this. We are here. We are here at the brazen laver. So why, why is all of this important to us? Why is all of this important to us? It is important to us because every aspect of the tabernacle as laid out in the Old Testament was God giving them an opportunity to approach God. And the only way that they could approach God, somebody said, well, what is all of this stuff about? I even saw what somebody says, and I've heard preachers say this, and I've heard them say this, and that that was for the Old Testament, as if we are to separate from it. It is not from the Old Testament. It is the alignment, it is the alignment of the physical and the spiritual. Every aspect of the tabernacle is an operation of Jesus Christ. Every act, that's the reason why I keep telling you, I keep telling people, and they don't understand that something different happens when you praise in the Lord and you stretch your hands this way. Something happens because when God looks from heaven, he sees a replica of what Jesus did on the cross. Are you hearing me? It's okay to lift your hands up like that, but when you stretch them out, you become the formation, and that wasn't from Beyonce, that was from God. You become the formation of the glory of God, and God looks down and says, I think I see myself. How can I deny myself a promise? How can I lie? When I see myself, I recognize that my word cannot return unto me void, but it's got to prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Who is God talking to? Anybody in here want to stretch out and praise him for a minute? Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Somebody give him a shout right there. Somebody give him a shout right there. Somebody give him a shout right there. There must, there must be, there must be a word spoken. Why, 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 why must there be a word spoken? Let me tell you why. Because let me ask you something. Are we, are we, are we, are we absolutely are we absolutely sure that we are in the right timing of this revival? We are in the month of Zebulun. But what we did not understand and recognize that God is about to do something supernatural for us. Because the minute the believer comes into the knowledge of the Kaya of God, of the Kaya of God, that word Kaya means revival. The word Kaya means revival. And the minute you, uh, watch this, watch this, you black folk. Uh, but the minute you are being made aware uh, of the word Kaya, it's when the Lord is reviving something in you. The Lord is restoring something in you. Who is God preaching to right there? Hmm. Hmm. Kaya, Kaya means to bring back to life. I'm not hearing nobody talk to me. It means to bring back to life. You hearing that word in the atmosphere is taking a journey in the crevice of your soul. And whatever the devil has tried to put to death, God is bringing it back to life. God, I wish I had somebody to understand that. I said, I don't care what you are dealing with. I don't care where you come from. I don't care where you're watching from. Just the word Kaya. Something is coming back to life. The word Kaya. Somebody say, I'm looking for somebody to prophesy to me. But I'm prophesying now one word, Kaya. I'm not hearing you. I'm not hearing you. Your ministry is coming back. Your finances is coming back. Your prayer life is coming back. Your fasting life is coming back. Your breakthrough is coming back. Somebody give God a praise. Oh, God. Oh, God. Kaya. What is the guarantee that what you're saying is right? Y'all sit down. I, I don't want to push myself too fast. What is the guarantee that 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 that, 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 that we are that we are where we're supposed to be? Kaya. Kaya. Listen to this. Is a transcendence word. 
Kaya is a transcendent word. Wait, wait, wait. Kaya refers to the transcendental nature of the soul. Kaya, Kaya is the transcendental nature of the soul. Mother, mother, that means, that means when you hear Kaya, it's the transcendental of the soul that causes the soul to, 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 to not just live again, but live beyond where it was. I don't think y'all got that. <laughs> in, in, in other words, when you hear the word Kaya and you embrace that word as a believer, let me tell you how powerful this word is. Kaya is so powerful that Kaya, Kaya is the spirit of the soul that causes it to keep living even when you die. See, y'all ain't saying nothing. You don't plan to go to heaven. I don't know where you plan to go. But, 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 but watch this. But, but, but when you hear the word Kaya, it automatically, you don't even know what's happening to you right now that you're listening to it. You don't even know what's happening. It's, it, it, it's almost as if it is causing a levitation in your spirit. It is causing your spirit to, to, to levitate up from where it is. In other words, when you walk out of here, you would be walking out of here with your feet on the ground, but your spiritual feet would be in your chest. Yo, yo, oh, you don't hear that. You don't hear that. Your spiritual feet would be in your chest because you're going out of here taller than you came in. Because it's transcendental nature. It takes you out of the flesh and it puts you in the spirit of your becoming. Good Lord have mercy. It takes you from where you are and it sets you to where you're going and you haven't got there yet. You don't hear what God is saying. It moves you up. Ah, your flesh going to be running after what God did for you tonight. I can't get nobody to talk to me. Eh, you already five years down the road. When you hear the word Kaya, it runs into your future and it turns around and waits for you to get there. And that's why after tonight, the devil won't be able to stop you because your pathway has already been written out with Kaya. That's why you got to praise him. You got to praise him and say, I'm already there. No, I'm not getting nobody to talk to me. I said, you got to praise him and say, I'm already there. Hey, I'm dancing in a finished work. I'm praising in a finished work. I'm dancing because it's already done. I'm dancing <laughs> because it's finished. I'm dancing because Kaya secured my future. And even I can't mess it up. Because Kaya has bound me to my destiny. Kaya has tied a rope around me and it is holding me hostage like Paul said. I'm a prisoner of this thing. You don't hear me. <laughs> Somebody ain't listening. You just went to jail in your future. You a prisoner to it. You will never be able to get away. You can erase the word backsliding because you will never backslide because your future has been guaranteed in the power of the Holy Ghost. Kaya! Y'all ain't saying nothing. Somebody don't believe that. Somebody don't believe that. Even when you make a mistake after tonight, too bad, because you're going to have to get up, because Kaya got you. I'm not hearing y'all talk to me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. God, I'm bound to it. I'm bound to it. I'm bound to it. I'm already successful. I'm successful and the door hasn't opened up. I'm wealthy and my pocket is empty. I'm not hearing y'all talk to me. 
who testifying right now because I promise you that if you stop praising him now Kaya will run back and get you if you praise him now Kaya will come back and get you it ran to your future and now I see it it's running back to clap your hand and say come on it's promised to you Y'all sit down. Y'all sit down. Kaya. Sit down, sit down. Let me just. Sit down, sit down. Let me just do this. Hold it, hold it, CJ. Hold it, hold it. Sit down, yo. I got to do this. 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 Transcend it. Uh, 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 uh. Y'all, somebody say, somebody say, uh, every time I feel like giving up, I find myself uh, praising God. Every time I feel like leaving, uh, every time I feel like throwing in the towel, they say something keep grabbing me. That's not something, it's Kaya. Oh, y'all, y'all ain't saying nothing. Watch it, watch this, listen, 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 listen. Y'all sit down, y'all sit down, y'all sit down, y'all sit down. Lord, I love you. It says here, it says here, yeah, it says here that, that, that transcendent is beyond the mama, that, that transcendent is beyond mama and above is beyond transcendent. It's beyond and above the range of normal. Okay, I'm the, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just say that real slow so somebody can get that. So somebody can get that. Because what I gotta help you to understand is that if you're in this building tonight and you're watching by television, you're watching by internet, your problem is you keep trying to be normal and you're not. You're above normal and you keep trying to dummy yourself down for all the dummies around you. I'm not hearing nobody talk to me. I wish I had somebody to say something. You're trying to be less than because you don't want them to think you something and you don't want them to think you more than what you are. But I came to make an announcement. I am. I am. I am just that. And you're mad because I walk in it. You're mad because I know it. I'm not hearing y'all. Because I am operating in Kaya. I am transcendent. I'm above average. I'm above normal. I'm a high exceller. I'm a high achiever. And I can't help what God has ordained for my life. I'm not hearing y'all. But let me make an announcement. I'm not coming down. I'm not going to change it up. I'm not going to belittle myself. I'm not having y'all talk to me. I can't do it because greatness is my portion. Y'all ain't hearing me. Greatness worldwide is my portion. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. It, it, it's beyond and above the range of normal. I'm not a normal intercessor. I'm not a normal prayer warrior. Y'all ain't saying I'm not a normal worship leader. I'm not a normal preacher. I'm not a normal prophet. I'm above. I'm above normal. I'm above average. Because if I operate as average, then I'm not in the Kaya of God. And if I'm not in the Kaya of God, I'm no different than the jackass that God used. I'm just usable. In other words, I become a channel when God want to get a message. But that ain't what he's saying about y'all. He ain't saying you a channel. He said, I want to live there. I want to make me your portion. I want you to walk around with so much power that when you walk in beauty shops, they turn off their music. I'm not hearing y'all. When they curse in front of you, they said, oops, I'm sorry and you ain't even told nobody you saved who am I talking to because the demons in hell can recognize when something about you is not normal the devil knows he can look at you you ain't got to open your mouth but the enemy can spot you in a minute and he know I can't mess with that one because they're transcendent because they got caught because there's something about him that's not normal 
all out. Somebody better shout. If God is talking about you, you better shout. When I say shout, when I say shout, people don't understand what I'm asking you to do. You think that I am asking you to make a noise. I am not, <laughs> my God. <laughs> you think that I am asking you to make a noise. I am not. Well, Dr. Bynum, what are you asking me to do? Well, let me tell you what I'm asking you to do. I'm asking you to align yourself with the spirit that you have because Kaya means life. So when you open up your mouth and you praise God behind a word, you bring that life into your life. I'm not hearing y'all. You ain't shouting because I want us to have church. You're not shouting because I want everything to be excited. You're shouting so that thing can land in you. You're shouting because my spirit is agreeing with that. And if I agree with it, then I become that. Because the power of life and death is in the tongue. And when I hear Kaya, I gotta shout. Because that means God is bringing something in my life back to life. Somebody shout. I gotta, I gotta give you this. Sit down. Oramando kosia, hure mahashanda, kore debe hisi. He said, "Handa la maha, hore maha." See what you don't understand is that when you embrace Kaya, y'all ain't trying to make us have church. I promise you, I'm not. But when you embrace Kaya, Kaya opened doors that were shut. When you embrace Kaya, if the door won't open, he create another one. I'm not hearing y'all. Some of y'all are wondering, when is the door gonna open for me? When you shout behind Kaya. Cause you getting ready to walk through some doors. Your problem is, you trying to use the same people. You trying to use a hookup. But God is telling me to tell you that your door is somebody you ain't never met. Your door is a place you never been. Somebody uh, that believe what God is saying up. Uh, you better praise it up uh, because a door is coming open up. Uh, a window is coming open. Uh, a way is being made. Uh, you better shout. Uh, Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. I, 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 I gotta give you this part right here. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I gotta, I gotta show you. Rabbi Hosea, oh Baba Bahaya. So Roya, come stand right there. Man of God, come stand right there. And back up and go, go, go that way a little bit. And y'all stand together, stand together. I'm trying to show you. I'm trying to show you what's happening for you. Because see, it says that, that, that it's beyond or above the range of normal or, or merely physical human experience. Oh, God. It surpasses the ordinary. It's exceptional. It is the conductor that is prescribed to get you to your destiny. So, so Pastor Franklin, when I say Kaya and everybody starts shouting and you start shouting, this is what happens to what God is doing for you. He throws it past human beings. It has nothing to do with them. Because you transcend, you high enough to get the catch. I'm not hearing y'all. I'm not hearing nobody talk to me. That's why you gotta praise him. You gotta praise him behind the word because it causes you to transcend and you become even with the catch. Y'all ain't saying nothing because if you're too low, somebody else may catch it. If you're too low, your promise may hit the ground. Who am I talking to? But I don't know about y'all, but I'm not gonna miss it. Every time I hear Kyle, I'm gonna open up my mouth because when I open my mouth, my spirit come on. 
open up and the will of God is done up. Somebody shout out. Shout Kaya. Shout Kaya. Shout Kaya. Shout Kaya. Excuse me, neighbor. I just caught something in my soul. Somebody shout Kaya. Sit down. Sit down. I got to give you this. Kaya. This going to bless you. This going to bless you. Now this what's going to separate you from your neighbor. This what's going to separate you from the people in your church. Because Kaya is not something that is bestowed to every person. Kaya is not something that is bestowed to every person. Rather, once a person reaches maturity, oh God, then the repeated performance of how he has lived for God, it guides him and it readies him to receive Kaya. Because, because Kaya, Kaya, is the fulfillment of life. And breath is the fulfillment of a body. So when you're ready to stop just breathing, and you're ready to really start living, then you'll straighten up your life so you can get Kaya. I, I, I'm not hearing y'all. I'm not hearing nobody talk to me. Maybe, maybe the people online just got that. Maybe they just got that. It, 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 it says here, watch this, that, that Kaya, and, and, and that's yours, son. That's yours. Kaya and Yeshida. It, 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 it can only be bestowed upon an upward mobile person. It can only bestowed, it can only, it can only be bestowed, Dr. Val, on somebody who is in the process of going up. I haven't gotten there yet, but I'm going up. And so when God see the up thing on you, oh, y'all hear me. He give you Kaya so you can finish. I'm not hearing y'all. Some of y'all saying, God, help me finish. And he's saying, you're too low. He said, I got to see you going up first. I got to see. I'm not hearing y'all talk to me. I'm not hearing y'all talk to me. When I come down here, I'm equal to y'all. When I come down here, I'm another individual. I'm another person. But when I start clamming, I leave where y'all is. And I come to another dimension where I can catch the Kaya. I'm not hearing y'all talk to me. Ah, check your neighbor and say, it's time to come up. It's time to come up. It's time to come up. Listen, 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 listen. Kaya. Kaya. Kaya means to live. It means, uh, Pastor Show would appreciate this, it means to have life. Watch this. This is not, this is not a, 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 a in and out kind of blessing. What you all are receiving right now. I said that. What you all are receiving right now is not an in and out. It is not an in and out thing. It is a life that is going to remain. You, 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 I, I see, I, I, I can't get nobody to talk to me because I just hear the words saying, this is your final deliverance. I'm not, it, 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 it's, it, Kaya means to sustain the life that I'm throwing to you. Kaya means to live prosperously. Kaya means is to live forever, to be quickened, to be alive, to be restored to life and health. Uh, John, uh, uh, Psalm 71 and 20, thou which has shown me great and sore troubles shall quicken me again and shall bring me up 
again from the depths of the earth. And Job 33 and 4 says, The Spirit of God have made me, and the breath of the Almighty doth quicken me. And that's why John 6 and 63 says, It is the Spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Kaya! Oh, you don't hear me. That's the Hebrew word for it. Before we had an English translation, Kaya was everlasting life. That's why every time you hear it, you ought to shout. Kaya. Oh, wait, 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 Dr. Bynum, what is, what is, what is, what is, what is, you told me what, what, what I will receive from Kaya. But, 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 what is the operation of this spirit? The operation is that Kaya is a reviver. Kaya is a, is a divine fibulator. Oh God, Kaya gives the heart a new jump start. Kaya is what, now, now, I didn't listen, this is what they said. This is what the Jews said. Kaya, it delivers from sickness. Uh, Kaya, it delivers you from being discouraged. Kaya, it delivers you from being fainted. Kaya, it delivers you from death. It causes you to grow and it preserves your life. And so God is saying save, merely save is not enough. I want you to have Kaya. I want you to be my witness in the earth realm. I want people to look at you and call you finished and they look up and you sitting on high. You don't hear what I'm saying. I want people to look at you and don't think you can be nothing and don't think that your church gonna be nothing and don't think your ministry is gonna be nothing and when they look up you on national television and they wondering how did you get there? Kaya got me here. I'm not hearing y'all. I'm not hearing y'all. I'm not hearing y'all. I wasn't the right color. I didn't have the right connections. I didn't have the hook up. I'm not in the circuit. I don't play the preacher game. Well, how did you get here? Kaya got me here. Somebody better pray to me. How did you get that house? Kaya threw it to me. How did you drive like that? Kaya did that. How did you build that business? Kaya gave it to me. know what I'm hearing. Y'all don't know what I'm hearing. I'm hearing a different kind of intercession that when you praying for something and it won't break when you say in the name of Jesus after you say it to Kaya. I'm not hearing y'all. Somebody better talk to me because Kaya will heal the sick. Kaya will raise the dead. Kaya will breathe new life into any situation speak to it when you don't have the words to pray just say Kaya Kaya over your children Kaya over your house Kaya over your ministry Kaya over your body say it now My God, I don't think y'all hear it. I don't think you hear it. I don't think you really hear it. Oh my God, I don't think you hear it. I don't think you hear it. I don't think you got the revelation yet. I don't think you understand it. I don't think you understand that why you in here praising God. I don't think you get it. That why you magnifying God. Oh y'all say, you ain't saying that. Why you magnifying God. Can I, can I just demonstrate that thing for you? Why y'all in here praising God? And you standing in your seat and you praising God and you giving God glory. Oh, Jesus. And the devil trying to tell you 
that you just hollering. You ain't just hollering. Oh my God. Why are you praising God like that? All of a sudden, oh God, the portal of heaven is open. The angels of the Lord come down. And why y'all praising? They running through your stuff and they working stuff out for you. Why are you praising God? They moving stuff up out of your way. Why are you why are you praising God? They shaking stuff up. I'm not hearing y'all. That's why you better praise him. You better praise him. Because color is in operation. You better praise him. Because color is walking it out. You better praise him. Because color is healing your body. Hold on. I have an announcement to make. And I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Y'all ain't saying nothing. But I hate to be the barrier of bad news. But patty cake praises cannot produce Kaya. I can't get nobody to talk to me. You ain't producing nothing. As a matter of fact, you better start thinking about everything you've been going through. You better start thinking about everything the devil has tried to do to your children. You better start thinking about Everything the devil uh, has tried to do to your business uh, and your life. Uh, and you better open up your mouth. Uh, because when you praise him uh, with the trouble in your mind, uh, Kaya rushes to you. Uh, Kaya, oh, wow. You better not play with this, cause this is revival. This is revival. God said, I brought you in here to bring you back to life. I brought you in here to restore your soul. I brought you in here and made you turn to this page to restore your soul, to deliver you. I don't care if you at home, you better praise it up like you in this building uh, because Kaya is working something uh, that you can't see
fire. Kaya. Somebody said, I'm ready for my miracle. But God had to tell us, I can't give a miracle to a dead man. You don't hear me. I can't give a miracle to somebody who's dead in their soul. But tonight, I got to bring you back to life. Because your miracle is waiting for you tomorrow. I said it. Your miracle is in your tomorrow. That's why you got to come back to life. Tonight is an urgent night. Tonight is a crucial night. You got to declare. You got to decree. I'm alive. I'm alive. Here I am. Don't pass me by. I'm alive. Here I am. Don't pass me by. I'm still alive. Hold on. I, I read something one time. While I was studying. While I was studying. To, 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 get my, to get my license as a practitioner, I was, I was studying something. And it said that a person, mother, that dies, when they die, oh God, that every body, every human being, when they die, they die two deaths. And I'm like, what? They die two deaths. What do you mean by two deaths? It says the first time when they close their eyes and they on the hospital bed and they close their eyes and the doctor said they gone. They not all the way gone. They gone from this life. But they still woke and watched this. And they said it takes about seven minutes for the second them to completely die. Y'all ain't saying that. So somebody looking at you and see your first death and they think you dead. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I can't hear nobody. And that's why the doctor said, and that's why some of the people said that when a person die, if you stand by the bed and keep talking to them, they may come back to life. You don't hear me. You don't hear me. The devil and your friends have declared you dead. Your relatives have declared you dead. I'm not hearing y'all, but I can hear you breathing. I can hear your heartbeat. I can hear God saying, I must send you a word. And the word is Kaya. Somebody better shout. Somebody better shout. Somebody better shout. Because while you shouting, your inner ear, the canal of your spirit is being opened to hear the word that's going to cause you to transcend, to come above your circumstances, to come above your trouble, to come above your heartache. Somebody shout. That's why. That's why. That's why. The Bible said, he that die in Christ is not dead. They sleeping. Y'all ain't saying that. They sleeping because, because the kaya of their spirit is still woke and alive. And it's traveling into the third heaven to live eternally. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I can't hear y'all talk to me. Death itself could not destroy it. That's why Jesus said, oh, oh, death, where's your sting? Oh, grave, where's your victory? Ah, Cause you got a body, but you didn't get a soul. You better come over here. I wish I had somebody. And see, some of y'all, uh, the Lord told me to make you say this. Uh, he told me to make you say this. Because uh, some of y'all done been through some hard times. Uh, I can see it in the spirit. Uh, some of y'all done almost died. Uh, but tonight, you got to declare to the devil, uh, you got a body, uh, but you didn't get my soul. Uh, 
Oh, you better come over here and praise him. Uh, you got a body. Uh, you hurt my feelings. Uh, you offended me. Uh, that hurt me. Uh, but you didn't get my soul. Uh, uh, that's why when you praise him, uh, when you praise him, uh, oh God, uh, I wish I had somebody to open up your mouth. Uh, uh, if you praise him, uh, he'll lead you uh, beside the still waters. Uh, he'll restore your soul. Uh, Somebody give him a prize. The spirit. Kaya calls. Kaya calls. Listen at this. Kaya calls for the purpose of your life to come from wherever evil has taken it. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I can't get nobody to talk to me right there. I said Kaya calls for your soul, for your purpose to come back from wherever evil has taken it. Y'all ain't saying, I hear the cry. I hear the cry. I hear the cry. I hear the cry of Kaya saying, come back over here. Come back over here from wherever evil has taken you. Because watch this, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because, because, because uh, uh, Kaya, Kaya is an adjective. It is an action word. It is not a name. It is not a noun. It is an acting word. That means it is, it is active. But watch this. Kaya is connected to this. And this is what really blessed me. Kaya is, watch this. Kaya's results lies in Romans 12 and 2. When it says, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transform so people would ask how can I do that how can I be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed be ye transformed I cannot be transformed without Kaya oh Jesus oh Jesus because other than that I am making a change but my change will change back I'm not hearing you I need a sustaining power. Watch this. I need a sustaining power to change me. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Because if I change without the power to change, I'm going to change into something else. But if God gives me the power to change, then I change into what he wants me to be. And I remain there. Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Because he says here, watch this. Uh, be not conformed to this world, but be you transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Well, what does transform mean? Transform means to make a thorough or a dramatic change in form, appearance, or character. Uh, come on, somebody. Come on. How many times have we said, I keep trying to change. And God said, if you just receive Kaya, it will change you. Kaya will cut off from you what doesn't belong to you. Lord, Lord, Lord Jesus, I don't hear nobody talk to me. Who is God talking to me? Oh yeah. Kaya, Kaya will cause things to drop off of you and you ain't got to pray them off. It'll just drop off. Because why? They're unfamiliar territory. Because those things cannot live in the spirit of Kaya. They are offended by Kaya. They are intimidated by Kaya. I'm not hearing y'all. God, I wish I had somebody to talk to me. Who is God talking to? Who is God talking to? It's intimidated. It's intimidated. The stuff that you rebuke and the stuff that you say, God, I know, God help me with this. He said, Kaya rebukes it. Oh, y'all, come on. I ain't getting nobody to talk to me. Who 
is God talking to? Who is God? If we come up high enough uh, to get Kaya, uh, we lose the appetite for it. Uh, our taste buds change. Uh, our heart change. Uh, the way we see it change. Uh, yesterday he was fine. Uh, today you the devil. Uh, yesterday she was cute. Uh, today you a demon. Uh, I'm not hearing y'all talk to me. Uh, it's something about Kaya that changes the eyesight. Uh, y'all ain't saying nothing. I look today uh, and said I want that. Uh, and I look tomorrow and say was I crazy for ever wanting that uh, who am I talking to uh, when you get Kaya uh, it shows you evil uh, and it shows you the evil of good uh, who am I talking to somebody tell God thank you for that When I get life, when I get the life in me from eternity, I see things the way God sees them. And that's when you can look at stuff and you can say, I know they shouting, but some about that, some about that just ain't right. I can't put my finger on it. Everybody's saying, it's a new way and it's a radical way, but wait a minute, because something about it, the thing of it is, is I don't see holy in it. I cannot, because, because that which is of God, it projects something that is sacred and not something that is wild. I'm not hearing y'all. I'm not hearing y'all. And we so busy trying to get out the box uh, that we done got out of God. Uh, because everything he does, he does it under the auspices of a pattern. Uh, and the reason why he created the tabernacle, the reason why he created the tabernacle, so he can confirm and seal the way of salvation. And it could not ever be changed. Uh, and you can't tell me, uh, I'm not hearing y'all talk to me here. Uh, y'all ain't saying nothing. You can't tell me uh, to mix this with some water and shake this up uh, and I'll get delivered uh, and you can't tell me to burn sage uh, because they burn incense but sage wasn't one of them uh, I'm not here when y'all talk to me ain't nobody talking to me ain't nobody talking to me because it's blind believers uh, that's going for that stuff uh, and you're going for another spirit to help you out uh, because you don't have the spirit of God that can annihilate anything that come against you you don't have to say amen uh, because this is real revival I'm not here when y'all talk to me whatever happened to going back to the Holy Ghost. Huh? Whatever happened to going back to prayer? Huh? Whatever happened to all night prayer huh? without a pillow and a blanket? Huh? Whatever happened huh? to fasting huh? with nothing in your mouth but brushing your teeth? Huh? Whatever happened huh? to calling after God? Huh? Whatever happened? Huh? Because heaven still hears huh? and God is still on the throne huh? and heaven is still open for business. Huh? Who am I preaching to? You better shout now and throw evil off of you. Huh? You better shout now and throw the new form of salvation off of you. You better shout up until the Bible be resurrected in your soul. Somebody shout! I'm done. Y'all don't know this one. Y'all don't know this. Is your all on the altar of sacrifice late? Does your heart, does the spirit control? Believer in here to sing that. Hell is your all. A sacrifice, lady. Does your heart 
sing it like you mean it. Let the spirit control. You can only be blessed. And have peace and sweet rest. As you yield him your body and soul. God was saying to me about calling a millennial revival. I'm, I'm, I'm standing here chuckling because when I look around the millennials, they don't even know the song. That's what they do. Somebody even did this to me. I want all the millennials to come down here right now. 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 Here right now. Is your all? Is your all on the altar? On the altar, a sacrifice laid. Does your heart? Let the spirit control. You can only be blessed. And find peace and sweet rest. As you yield him your body. Hey, I think we got a future in here. It's your own on the altar. A sacrifice. Lay. Does your heart? Does the spirit control? can only be blessed. And have peace and sweet rest. And you yield him. And so, as you yield him, as you yield him, come on, sing it. To your seat and help us sing it. Is your Lord I think I see a church. Does your heart sing it, y'all? Oh, I'm gonna have my millennial revival. I'm gonna have it. 
me be blessed and have peace and sweet rest. See how much y'all got it. This is a revelation. When people get through talking to you and telling you what they're going through and asking you for prayer, you just go look at them and say, Kaya. Y'all don't hear me. <laughs> Kaya. They're going to say, What does that mean? It means everything that the devil was trying to put to death is alive. Oh, Jesus, 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 Kaya. 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 He said in John 6 and 63, the flesh profiteth you nothing. But he said that the words that I speak, they are spirit and they are life. I don't know if you just heard that. Everything that God speaks, and this is why the enemy don't want you to hear the word. Because there is spirit of life in it. When I couldn't go to church, when I didn't have a pastor, the word kept me alive. Yeah. I don't think you heard that. And I would sit at home by myself. The word would keep me alive. The scripture I read tonight was a scripture that I live by. That said, it is he that have made me. And it is he that breathed the breath of life into me. And the translation that I read said, therefore he inspires me. 
I took the word of God literally. I took it as if God himself was speaking to me. I never picked up the Bible and read it like it was a book. I would pray and say, God, I need a word. And at that time, I didn't have a prophet. And I would open up the Bible. And God would speak to me. And he kept speaking to me till he spoke me here. You don't hear me. My job is to be the representation and the poster child for possibilities. My job is to allow you to look and see what the Lord can do when your life is filled with kindness. Jesus. People in this building, God wants you to know, and I don't know who this is for, but the Lord the Lord is saying for me to tell somebody in here that you will never be able to see what I have for you until you stop mourning what you lost. I don't know who I'm talking to. Until you stop mourning what you've lost. I remember, I remember, I remember sitting on my prayer floor when I had the warehouse and I was sitting in that prayer room that I created and I was weeping and I was so broken. And I said to the Lord, God, I have lost everything. I've lost seven cars, I lost houses, I lost friends, I lost everything that I had. I could barely afford a $49 night hotel. And I remember, I remember the way I was weeping before the Lord. And God, that day spoke to me. And he said to me, if you don't believe that what I did for you, that I can do more than that, then you don't know me to be God. He said to me, you lost that because I was finished with that. I don't think I'm, I'm talking to somebody. I'm talking to somebody. And sometimes on our journey, the Lord be finished with stuff. He be finished with stuff. And we hold on because we think that that defines us. But God said, you have not gotten to the fulfillment of your description of who you are. And so if you don't learn to let go and let God, you will never see it. And the part that you're in now is the journey. But I, you don't have the revelation to that. Because if you're in the journey, that means you're headed somewhere. That means there was a destiny for you. And the Lord is trying you to see how you handle this. Oh, y'all. I'm not hearing nobody talk to me. While I was at New Greater Bethel, and he said to me, I want you to fix this church up. And I was fixing up the church. He said, I want you to put this and make this a studio. And I got in there and I made it a studio. And he said, now when you get through building all this, and that, uh, he said, there's going to come a day. Now, this, this, is, this is four years ago. Oh, five years ago, he said, there's going to come a day when you're going to walk away from all this. And I was looking at, I was looking at that studio thinking it was the greatest thing. I'm like, wow. You know, we just built this from the ground and we didn't, and we didn't did this and we didn't fix it up and da-da-da-da-da. And the Lord said, 
I want you to sow, and I want you to do this, and I want you to do this. But he was trying me. This building been empty for three years. But God was trying to see how I handled what was little. So that he could see if he could trust me with much. I'm not hearing y'all talk to me. I'm not hearing y'all talk to me. I'm not hearing y'all talk to me. We don't learn to walk in the revelation of the word. I have to. Somebody said, well, how did you believe God like that, Dr. Donna? Because I didn't have nothing else to believe. See, the reason why you can't believe God like that is because you got too much to believe. You believe this, you believe that, you believe them, you believe that person over there. Well, you ain't got nothing else to believe. And you learn to believe God. You learn to trust him, trust his word, trust what he says. And there's a revival that is taking place. The belief systems of God is being rebirthed in you tonight. I can't get nobody to talk to me. I said it's being rebirthed in you tonight. That's why God called this revival. He called this revival because, because he doesn't want your faith to fail you. Are y'all hearing this? Are you hearing this, woman of God? Are you hearing this? Are you hearing this? God's getting ready to do something for you. God's getting ready to give you something. Something that you've been praying for. I could see it. You almost there. But that's why God had to tell Abraham, get out from among your kinspeople. Get away from people that are familiar with you. Get away from people who have already predicted who you are. Because it, realist, it does not yet appear who you shall be. But some of us, the Lord had to hide us for a season. I ain't getting nobody to talk to me. But I'm here to tell you this, by way of prophecy, that by Monday, by Monday, the scales are coming off. By Monday, the scales are coming off. And where people did not see you, God is getting ready to reveal you. You've been looked over for some things, but God said they're coming back. Because who they chose is not going to work. I just want somebody to worship him right there. I just want somebody to worship him right there. It doesn't work. It won't 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 work. It's yours. It belongs to you and nobody else can have it. It belongs to you and nobody else can have it. I don't know who I'm talking to. It belongs to you and nobody else can have it. Nobody else can have it. It has your name on it. And the devil trying to shake you with what you're looking at, but don't let him. Because God said it's already done. It's already yours. It came open when you was hollering. Okay, I'm going to leave that alone because y'all don't believe that. It came open when you were shouting Kaya. The Lord destroyed the obstacle. The Lord annihilated the adversary to this thing. He canceled the lie. He canceled the lies. The lie won't live. An exposure is coming. The people that have tried to stop you, exposure is coming. The people who have lied on you, exposure is coming. Somebody better praise God right there. Somebody better praise God right there. The people, oh, the people that lied on you, exposure is coming. The people who undermine you, exposure is coming. Somebody said, give God praise and call it Kaya.
the lie was told to keep you out. But God said, I opened up another door. I opened up another door. Another door is open. Jesus, have mercy. You better praise him. You better praise him. You better praise him right there. Every time you open your mouth, you open a door. Every time you open your mouth, you open a window. Every time you open your mouth, you create a passageway. about you, but I, 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 I close with this. I, when I think about Dr. Soroya, where God brought me from, this is what people don't realize. Tonight, if you're watching and you're in this building, if you don't receive this Kaya word, you are demoted back to the Nefesh and the small aura ruach and your neshama is confused and I don't know about you but I can't go back I can't go back I can't go back I just want you to think about where you were a year ago and tell yourself I can't go back I want you to think about where you were two years ago and tell yourself, I can't do that no more. I can't go back to that foolishness no more. I want you to think about where you were three years ago. I want you to think about where you were four years ago. And if you reject the Kaya word, that's what you're being reverted back to. Are you hearing me? 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 You gotta receive this word. Because Kaya is going to keep you moving forward. Kaya is going to keep you on the right track. If you reject this life, you go back. You go back. You lose your neshama. You lose your ruach. And you become just a breath. A human body with breath in it. With no direction. I can't go back. I can't go back. I can't go back to that. I can't go back to that. I can't go back to that. Jesus. All over this building, I got to go. You're watching my internet, I got to go. back up from what God gives me. We have one more. The Yeshida. The Yeshida, the ultimate level in God. The Kaya is not given to everybody. I want you to know that you're special tonight. You're special to have received the Kaya word. There's something about you that's special to have received this word. How many people in the world have never heard it? Come on. How many people all over the world have never heard that word? What about you? What about you? the resurrection power of God. I speak it in the name of Jesus. 
that the Lord is raising up, and I hear it, I keep hearing it in my spirit. He's raising up another level of millennials. I don't know why that, that, that thing is on me. He's raising up another level of millennials that are going to walk in a faith in God that we've never seen. We're going to begin to see the prophets of old sit upon them. We're going to begin to see them preach like they've been here for years because there is a reviving coming to that generation. I can't help it, I hear it and I feel it. And he said there is a group of millennials that have been crying out in the spirit, show us the way, show us the way. They're crying out and I can hear it. I can hear it. All over this building. Everybody that's watching. Everybody that's watching. I want you to hear the Lord. I want you to hear him speaking. It's called divine obedience. I'm going to say this. And I'm going to speak this because it really has nothing to do with the message. And I know, I know, I know people, I know people do that. You know, they, they preach man of God and then they start trying to swing the message so the message can line up with an offering. Do you not know that before the Lord called this revival, he earmarked the people that was going to obey him. He picked them out. And I could speak this word all day long, but only the people that God picked out can walk in this. And we have to learn that. It, 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 it's not, it's not, whether or not people will or won't, it's, it's an earmarking. When the Lord said that to me a long time ago, he said, when I wasn't preaching, I wasn't traveling, and I was praying one day, and he said, do you know I have earmarked people that is going to bless you? And shortly after that, he picked somebody up in another country. And they called me and said, I had a dream about Dr. Bynum last night. And she said, I dreamed that the Lord Jesus Christ came and woke me up out of my bed and walked me into a bathroom. And she said, and he told me to clean the bathroom. And when I started cleaning the bathroom, when I turned around, Dr. Bynum was standing in my bathroom. And she said, and Jesus took my hand and put it in her hand. And he said, take care of my handmaiden. That day, she sent me $40,000. Two weeks later, she sent me another $30,000. In a three-month time, she had sent me over $300,000, and I never had to leave my house. I didn't have to preach a word. I didn't have to do anything. He said, I have earmarked people that are going to bless you. The other day, the other day, somebody called and said, I just, I, God told me to do this. And sent me $15,000. Then they turned around two weeks later and sent me another 18,000. God has earmarked people. <laughs> he has earmarked people to bless you. He has earmarked people who are kingdom minded. He has earmarked people, watch this, that will save and can't wait 
to sow into the kingdom. So if God is not talking to you, he's just not talking to you. But if God is talking to you, he has earmarked you to do this. So when he spoke that word to me, and I was on my way to the back, and he said to me, I'm giving you this. I'm telling you to say this. I'm telling you to speak this. You do what I tell you to do. He said, I said in this revival that 50 people would sow $1,006. I said for you to say it. And if it wasn't God, nobody would have done it. So, if 30 some people have done it, then where is everybody else? Because the Lord spoke it. And I was talking to, I was talking to Dr. Val the other, last night, and I said, the thing that people don't understand is that I'm not in the mall. Because people say, well, well what, what's she doing with all the money? I'm not going to shop. I don't need anything. I got purses I've never carried. I got clothes hanging in my closet with tags on them. I got so many to I don't even know what to do with all of them. I, I just want to bring it one time and just put it all in this room and just tell y'all to come get it because I, and I'm dead serious. I don't need anything. I got so many shoes, mother, till I got a house in New York and one here in Atlanta and still don't have enough room. I, I'm not shopping. I'm kingdom building. I can give you receipts of everything I do with what God gives us. So when God spoke that and you're watching, 20 of you all need to obey God. And you're in this building and you're watching. And the Lord spoke it for you to sow $66. You're earmarked. It's not... It's not about will you. He earmarked you. Well, Dr. Bonham, how do I know he earmarked me? Because you have it. He's not talking to you if you don't have it. He's not talking to you in this building and you don't have it. But the Lord said there's something that I want to do for you. Because Juanita Bynum has proven herself to be a handmaiden of seed sowing. During the pandemic... When I was offering the prayer kits, $4.2 million came in. And I sent money everywhere. You would be surprised the people that still got a church because I sold that money. You would be surprised that pastors that still got houses, God said, keep the kingdom alive. And that's what I did. He locked me in that studio and I couldn't go outside for nine months. I couldn't even go to the window. So mother, I wasn't shopping with it. He said, send it over here and send it over there and send it over here. And he would pick somebody up in my spirit and I would call them and say, I don't know why I'm calling, but the Lord told me to send you this. The Lord told me to send you $10,000. The Lord told me to send you. And they would bust out crying saying, I was just praying and asking God and I didn't know where I was gonna get it from. That's who I am. I'm a channel for God to use me. My pastor said something that was so profound. He said, God owes some people, and there are some people that God need to pay. And so he's going to use people to pay some bills for him. Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing. He said, I'm going to use some people that I'm going to release finances to because they're going to pay some bills for me. They're going to sow it wherever I tell them to sow it. So when I'm talking in this camera and I'm talking in this room, if that's you, then obey the Lord. You can get money back. But we are in Zebulon. We are in the month of the diamond mine. We are in the month. Where we are going to get treasure from the sand. This afternoon. I was sitting at my desk. And the Lord dropped somebody in my spirit. To edit a book for me. And when I called them and I said, the Lord dropped you in my spirit and he told me to ask you to edit this and, 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 and this is how much he told me to send you. And they was boo-hoo crying. 
saying, what just happened? You said last night on the television that if I shout, the Lord would give me treasures out of sin. She said, it was what I needed to pay my bills. And I didn't know where I was going to get it from, but I danced and I shouted in my house last night. And then you called me. I wasn't even thinking about that. The Lord said, call them. The Lord has earmarked people to be a blessing to you. He has earmarked you to be a financier of the kingdom. You would lend and not borrow. And whoever you are, do it now. Those 20 people that are watching that God has told you that this is your season for the $1,006. Do not hesitate and do not disobey him. The people in this building that the Lord has said to give $66. You're watching by internet and he said that's your seed. Then you do it. And all over this building, if you've given an offering, I want you to stand to your feet. Because we don't have envelopes. I want you to stand. Dr. Bonham, the Lord is talking to me. I, he's talking to me to give a seed. Whether it's 66, whether it's 33, whether it's 1,006, I know what he's saying. People are standing all over this building. And I want you to do it now because I want to connect with your name on that screen up there. I want you to do it now. I want you to do it now. No, we don't have to turn cartwheels for you to obey God when you're earmarked to do something. When you're earmarked to do it, it's just a natural thing. Because what I release is Kaya. What I release, I will get it back. What I release, what I'm doing right now, what you're doing right now in this building, what you're doing right there online, you are causing life to come to your finances. You are causing life to come for everything that you touch because you're sowing under the word of Kaya because this is the Zeppelin month. Oh, somebody worship him. Somebody worship him. Somebody worship him. Somebody worship him. Come, Jaden. Somebody worship him. Come give us a song. Oh my God, somebody worship him. All over this building, I want you to come and touch your phone on the altar. Touch your phone on the altar. We're waiting on you. We're waiting on you, God. We will wait on you here on the altar. Yes, Lord. For the cash app. The cash app is J B I at A C T thirty three. Money sign J B I at thirty three. A C T A C T thirty three. Be careful that there is nothing else behind thirty three. There's no other number behind thirty three. There's no other letter behind thirty three. It's money sign J B I. ACT 33. Same thing for PayPal. Forever. Give by tidily. Forever at your feet. I'm waiting for your names. We will wait. Somebody worship him. Somebody worship him. Here at the altar. Somebody worship him. 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 Here at the altar. Come on, somebody worship him. Yes, yes. For your feet. Cruise 1006. A calling Mel and Priscilla. Joella 66, Dora 66, Valerie 66, Angela 66, Jasmine 66, Paula 66, Margaret 66, Tammy 66, Adrian 66, Trina, Sid, Sheila. We're waiting on you. We're waiting on you, God. We're waiting on you. Somebody worship him. We're waiting on you, God. Come on and worship. We're waiting on you. We're waiting on you. You're in you, to do this. You make He's called you to sow in this revival. Yes, you because you're in for all your things in your finances. I will follow you forever. All things new, yes, 
form of the glory of God and after I had preached that on Friday night I will be anointing you giving handkerchiefs to seal what God is saying thank you Jesus I feel the presence of the Lord in here I feel the presence of the Lord in here Kaya is doing what you cannot see right now. But by Monday, you will begin to see a manifestation oh, of this for me. Yeah. Oh. You ain't got to I said by Monday. It's happening for me. I don't take it back. I said by Monday. You're going to begin to see a manifestation. God's doing it Kaya over your children. Kaya over your life. Things that you have been praying for. He's doing it for me. Kaya has gone God's to get it for you. For me. Oh, you better give him a praise right yeah. there. I said, Kaya, I'm talking to y'all out there that's God's watching. God's doing it for me. By Monday, Kaya God's doing it is for me. going to get yeah. What you have been praying God's for. Doing it for me. Somebody give it to him. Yeah. God's doing it for me. Yeah. God's doing it for me. Yeah. God's doing it for me. He already worked it out. God's doing it for me. He's working it out. He's working it out. He's working it out. God's doing it for me. Doing it, doing it, doing it. Hey, hey, hey. God's doing it for me. He already worked it out. 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 Yeah. God already worked it out. God already worked it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God already worked it out. Yeah, yeah. God already worked it out. Yeah. God already worked it out. Yeah. God already worked it out. You ought to declare it. God already worked it out. You ought to receive it. God already worked it out. Yeah, God already worked it on her. Yeah, God already worked it on her. Yeah, God already worked it on her. He's worked it in my favor. He's worked it in my favor. He's worked it in my. Yeah, God already worked it out. Yeah. Walk in it, yeah. trust in it, dance in it. God already worked it on. Yeah, walk in it, trust in him. Yeah, God already worked it out. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. God already worked it out. Do it on. God already worked it out. Walk in it. God already worked it out. Rejoice. 
God already worked it out. Rejoice. God already worked it out. Carlos, Carlos, God already worked it out. Carlos, Carlos, God already worked it out. Carlos, Carlos, God already worked it out. God already worked it out. God already worked it out. Carlos, Carlos, God already worked it out. Hey, Cara, Cara, God already worked it out. Cara, Cara, God already worked it out. God already worked it out. God already worked it out. God, God already worked it out. Give up glory. God already worked it out. If you know, Cairo is working. If you know, the pain is working. The windows of heaven are open. 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 Windows of heaven are open. Blessings, 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 blessings. Miracles, 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 miracles. It's in the room. In the room. In the room. In the room. Reach up, reach up, reach up and grab it. Reach up, reach up, reach up and grab it. Yeah! God already worked it out. 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 Somebody run. God already worked it out. Somebody run. God already worked it out. Praise him. Praise him like you know it's done. Praise him. Praise him like you know it's done. Lift him up. Lift him like you know it's done. Lift him like you know it's done. Yeah. God already worked it out. Hey. God already worked it out. Yeah. God already worked it out. Yeah. God already worked it out. Yeah. The windows of heaven are open. God already went to the windows of heaven are open. God already went to the windows of heaven. The windows of heaven are open, receive it. The windows of heaven are open, receive it. The windows of heaven are open, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. Yeah, everything you need, it's in the room. Everything you need, it's in the room. Everything you need. It's in the room, everything I need. It's in the clarity, everything I need. Hey, it's in the room, hey, everything I need. Oh, it's in the room, hey, everything I need. It's in the room, everything I need. It's, a, it's in the room, it's in the room, it's in the room, it's in the room. 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 Yeah, everything I need. It's in the room. Come on, everything I need. It's in the room. Everything I need. It's in the room. It's in the room. It's in the room. It's time for a break through. Time for a break through. Now is the time. Now is the time. Now was 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 the time. The windows of heaven open. The windows of heaven open. The windows of heaven are open. The windows of heaven are open. The rain is falling in this place. The rain is falling in this place. The rain is falling in this place. Rain is falling in this place. Let 
your cup and receive the rain. Yeah. Lift your cup and receive the rain. Yeah. Yeah. Lift your cup and receive the rain. Yeah. Lift your cup and receive the rain. Yeah. It's come to rain on your marriage. It's come to rain on your finances. It's come to rain on your body. He's come to rain on your ministry. Rain, rain, rain in this place. Hey. Rain, rain, rain in this place. Hey. Rain, rain, rain in this place. Hey. Rain, rain, lift your cup and say rain, 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 fall in this place. Come on, rain, rain, fall in. Fall in this place, fall in this place, fall in this place. The windows of heaven, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The windows of heaven, oh, 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 oh. So wait on the Lord. shall renew your strength so wait I say wait on the Lord wait on the Lord he shall renew your strength so wait I say wait on the Lord Just what he said he would do. Yeah, he's going to fulfill every promise to you. Yeah. Don't give up on God, cause he won't give up. Say he's able. Yeah, block those heads. If you believe it, say he's able. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, he is. Everybody lift your lights and say, God is able. God is able. Just what he said. He's going to fulfill every promise. Yes, he is. Don't give up on God. Yeah. Oh, 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 he's able, help me say, oh, oh, yeah, 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 say, oh, 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 he's able, help me say, oh, Say he's able, he's able. I know that he is. He's able, he's able to save you. He's able to heal you. He's able, he's able. Shout the eye, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's able. Oh, oh. Oh, he's able, 
Yeah, me saying go. Oh, 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 oh. He's a baller. Yeah, say yo. Oh, 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 oh. He's a baller. Let your voice say. Oh, 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 God is able, God is able, God is able, and he won't fail, oh, God is able, God is able. God is able and he won't fail. As we leave it, lift your hands. Come on, say it. God is able. As we leave this place, God is able. When it's done and said, God is able and he won't fail. You can take this with you to the car. God is, God is able. As you go to sleep tonight, come on. God is able. As you know, Cairo is working. God is able and he won't fail. 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 Last time, God is able. God is able. God is able, and He won't fail. One last time, come on. God is able. Yes, Lord. God is able. God is. 